the Patriots Alumni Club certainly pulling for the kids of New England by holding their annual Sporting Clays Classic at Addaville East Farms. Alumni and groups of outdoor enthusiasts showing up for a fun time for a great cause. Everybody sign a waiver. You're holding me harmless. <laughs> awesome. And thank you all for coming. Thank you all, all the sponsors that are here today. The funds are supporting Patriots alumni programs. And our program primarily centers around making sure that, that kids uh, always have the opportunity to play football. Learn the positive aspects of that team sport, that great team sport. Their only condition of us coming back each year is make a ton of money for the kids. An event that everyone can enjoy. You really don't need to be proficient to, to, to hoist the gun, making sure that the two round holes are, are pointing downfield. You pull the trigger, a loud noise happens, and three be 300 BBs escape from the muzzle. One of them apt to hit the target. Wouldn't you agree? And with that, the shooters headed off to their starting stations. Hey! All shooters having a great time, regardless of their skill level. A great event for all skill levels. Veteran Sporting Clays alum Ronnie Lepet offering some advice and words of wisdom. Oh yeah, little, little tips here and there because you're kind of seeing where the clay is coming from. Sir, pleasure to meet you. Stay warm. This is the weather right here that uh, you New Englanders love and uh, people are having a good time out here. I'm glad to be here. Yeah. I'm getting better every year and I love to shoot. Uh, fun times to come out and hear the bang bang, you know, you know little guys to big guys I always love the bangs, so fun time. <laughs> and regular Tom Merva missed one, and of course he blames the presence of the camera. Oh, and then the camera. <laughs> <laughs> Former linebacker Steve King. You look forward to this, I'll tell you. It's more fun. It's unbelievable. I talk to people from all walks of life. Probably our premier event, other than great game, game of the greats. So it comes out and every, everybody, uh, everybody has a great time. Yeah, I think it went very well. The weather cooperated. Uh, couldn't been a, a more perfect day. We had a, I think this was our largest uh, field. We uh, put 19 foursomes out into the field today. Everyone looked like they had a ton of fun, and we raised some good funds for our cause. Did I hit the first one? Dead pair. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Dead pair. All right. Right on him. Former linebacker Matt Chatham happy to help the cause. Having a blast. This is not my uh, not my cup of tea, but I'm, uh, I'm making it work. <laughs> it's honestly, it's just really good to get back with the guys and to get to interact with fans and 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 just have sort of a, a casual atmosphere where where we can reconnect. You're not gonna take pictures of me when I'm shooting, right? Oh, definitely. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, exactly. Wonderful. Have you made every other one when I haven't videotaped? Oh yeah, them? I made them all except for, you know and proof that the previous Merva miss was not caused by the jinx of the camera. <laughs> After all the shooting was done, it was time to head back where the participants could check out the raffle and live auction items after a delicious pig roast. Offensive lineman Max Lane cleared a lane to the food. And instead of just sitting around at meetings and reminding each other how famous we once were, we might as well get out into the community and, and provide something positive. So make sure that, that kids always have an opportunity to play football. And, and we use a, uh, a camp format that we take out through New England uh, to get everybody all charged up with doing it. So th that's really our mission and why we exist. And what better messaging could we do in today's society of, of trying to stress uh, leadership and teamwork of using football as that vehicle with kids all throughout New England. <laughs> Found an opening bid for $500 for the Mac Jones helmet, $500. $800 once. Time for the live auction. <laughs> Price. So, thank you, Tom Merber. If you have a Vince Wilfork signed throwback jersey, sold for $1,500. Thank you. And raffle time. 973 Yes, sir. Woo! Thank you. Ty Law, sign throwback white jersey. You got it. Woohoo! 
That's how you do it. Finally, awards time recognizing the best shooters. Male and female get $250 gift certificates from Bass Pro. And the winner, Maria Griffin, and she was tied with Anna Talia at 25 with the card off. Male shooter, Jim Manning with 49 out of 50. Dropped one card. Annie, also part of the winning team from Lighthouse. You guys have been tremendous. Who says we do this again next year? Woo! Who's coming if we do? Woo! Who's bringing other friends if we do? Woo! There we go. That's awesome. I just want to, again, thank all the sponsors for your participation in making this happen. Uh, Jack and Paula at Addyville. Thank you all very much for participating. That is all.